Welcome everyone to my channel. This is your sharing doctor, Dr. Daisy Pay. What I'll be sharing with you today is about fruit juices, which are considered healthy drinks, but they're not. What is alarming is that both adults and children consume lots of fruit juices, especially commercial juices. You see, these fruits and vegetables have natural sugar called fructose. And fructose is made up of one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose. And they are metabolized in the liver. So the tendency of making a person become insulin resistant is very real. You see, I, I think you have heard about people with diabetes in obesity. Is this the reason why lots of our children today are obese? Even young adults, many have the tendency to be obese and more and more are becoming diabetics more and more are becoming insulin resistant. What is alarming is before the lockdown, there are lots of children in school who snacks on fruit juices, commercial juices, because they're easy to prepare. And this lead to sodas. Some people even consider fruit juices as gateway to sweeten beverages like sodas and energy drinks. And worst, there are brands now that are marketed for infants. So what is the implication of that? When infants are given fruit juices, and they consume lots of fruit juices, then they'll become programmed or addicted to fruit juices. And some parents think this is okay because they consider fruit juices as healthy. But the danger is the fructose being metabolized by the liver and could actually lead to insulin resistance and lead to obesity and to diabetes, memory fogs, and other devastating diseases, even cancers. The reality is that these fruit juices taste sweet and pleasant to the taste. And that's the reason why many people like to take this fruit juices drinks. According to studies, a 12 ounce fruit juice contains 10 teaspoons of sugar or fructose. And that is for homemade fruit juices without high corn fructose syrup. But most of these commercial drinks have been sweetened by high fructose corn syrup. And this high fructose corn syrup are produced from corn starch. And that makes them dangerous. And that's the reason why it is not healthy to consume lots of fruit juices. Even homemade fruit juices should be consumed in moderation. Overconsuming fruit juices is bad. You see, fruit juice is not like eating whole fruit. When say we eat orange fruit, one or two orange fruits would be enough in one sitting. But when you take orange fruit juice, it could mean four to five oranges 
in the fruit juice. And that means you will be susceptible to dementia diseases, obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance, cancers, memory fogs, and other diseases. Of course, I would like to share with you that these diseases, they do not show immediately. Cancers, for example, take about 20 to 30 years before their symptoms come out. The same with diabetes. It would take about 10 years before deterioration of your beta cells in the pancreas will show. And this is the reason why it is very hard to treat because long-term deterioration will mean difficult or harder to remedy or to treat. Now let's go to some guidelines on how to taper this overconsumption of fruit juices, especially commercial fruit juices. There should be a massive education to generate awareness of the consequences of taking or overconsuming fruit juices. Like people should understand that these fruit juices can lead to diabetes, to obesity, and even to cancers. Second is parents should have the parental will to give their children whole fruits instead of fruit juices. You see these fruit juices have less fiber and so it will make these children feel hungry all the time so they will have to snack and snack and snack and snack. And taking more of these fruit juices, again, can be dangerous to their health. The third is, we have to be aware of what fruits contain high fructose, high fructose content. Like, for example, fruits like apples, strawberries, watermelon, and vegetables like zucchini are high in fructose content. So when we include this in the diet, there should be moderate amount of it. Also in, in the consumption, when included in our diet, there should be variation of it. Meaning to say that you don't have to take this every day. You can take this, say for example, once a week or twice a week. And there are also fruits and vegetables that are low in fructose content. Like for example, fruits like bananas, they have low content of fructose. Also lettuce, they have low content of fructose. So you need to research on this because this will affect the health of your family, the health of your children, which we consider as the hope of our nation. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Again, to God be the glory.